Hey everybody, Christian or Frozen Buck Gaming back with another episode of Eastside Hockey Manager Early Access Edition, and um, we're continuing along here with our Buffalo Sabres general manager thing, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Uh, I think I've gone about 10 or 15 games since last episode, and we are actually, I'll show you standings, first in our conference, as you can see, by five points, and we played less games than well, everybody in the conference, except for the Flyers, who are way behind us. We are actually first in the league as well, so that's very good to see. Uh, you look at the league leaders here, Connor McDavid's leading in plus minus, four check is in points, and um, he also has the best average rating for the league, so that's good. So we got a game here today against the Bruins. We'll get to that in a minute. So we have a couple injuries right now, as you can see. We have Cam Fowler out. He's been pretty good for us. And um, Olofsson, who has actually surprised me, he's been pretty good for us. He's been playing third and fourth line minutes, so I'm happy with this. Statistics has been good. He'll be back soon, though. So I'll show, I'll show you the statistics real quick. Vorchek's been absolutely great, like, killing it. He's been good. McDavid, as you can see, has been very good as well. He's a point-per-game player, and Ennis has been really good. He's just below a point per game. Patty Kane, he's above a point per game. Um, he's obviously missed, like, six or seven games, so, you know, whatever. Lazaroff has surprised me. This is his rookie year, and he's been doing very well. He's not point per game, but I don't really expect him to. He's going to be great for us in the years to come. Jamie Benn hasn't been that good, or I skipped Martinez. Martinez has been pretty good for us, as you can see back on the back end. He has the most goals for him, a defenseman for us. So, Jamie Benn hasn't impressed me too much this year. I mean, he's been moving lines. He's been injured. He scored three goals, I think, in the last like four or five games. So at least he's finally scoring now after not scoring in the first couple. So that's good to see. Ristolainen has been pretty good. Olofsson has been, he's surprised me um, a lot. As a fourth liner, as I said, um, I actually signed him to a new deal. We got him for like three or four, two, I think it was three years for like I think a million or two million max. You know, eight. I think eight hundred k next year, one point five the next, and like two after. So I think that's a good deal if he continues to produce. dehan has been pretty good, I guess. Um, Reinhardt hasn't been great. He's been getting assists, but. He's been playing on the third line lately, so I guess that's about it. Um, Hannafin's been pretty good. As you can see, he's definitely growing a lot. It's going to be great for us. So We're going to play the Bruins here, so I think we're going to. We've been starting. We have been starting Allmark lately. He's played in most of our games. He's been pretty good. I, wish, I want his save percent should be a little bit higher, but I'm happy with that. As you can see, he's actually grown a lot. His statistics have gotten a lot better, so I'm happy with that. Anderson, he's only started a couple. He has been good, not amazing. We'll probably give him a couple more starts coming up here. So, uh, I guess I already did the Bruins game. Um, yeah, before our last episode, so we won in the shootout there, I believe. Um, Subban, not scoring. We're going to be going up against Toronto here. We'll have Allmark start this one. Let's see what we can do here. Hopefully Ben and Reinhardt get scoring. Um, really appreciate that. So Patty Kane gets the first goal of the game, assisted by Borchek and McDavid, so they're both keeping everybody on the first line is doing very well for us. I might... I thought about moving... Um, Maybe Kane McDavid gets an assist on a wrist line and goal. Wrist line's been scoring more this year, so that's good. Willie Nylander gets one, but Grabner, Grabner hasn't. Um, I'll show you this after the game. Ben gets one on an empty net. I don't care how you get it. He got it, so I'm happy with that. But Grabner gets one, and then Kane got another as well. Um, but I will show you here. Gravner's been playing um, third or fourth line. It depends on who we have in. Just because Lazarov and um, Olofsson actually have been playing better than him, which surprised me. But you never know. Like he, I don't think he's ever going to reach that 40-goal plateau again like he did that one season for us. But it's possible, maybe one day. So, moving right along here. 
I'm thinking about moving Reinhardt back up, maybe moving Lazarov down. Um, we'll see how they each of them perform next game. I definitely want to get um, Reinhardt more second line time because that's what he's going to be for us eventually, most likely at least a second line center. So we're going to go into practice here. We probably have a couple players that need to rest, as you can see. Um, so we'll just rest them, I guess. There we go. Rest them, and um, we'll deselect them. We're going to get Reinhardt working on his shooting, so maybe he'll start scoring some more goals. Fowler is back. He's ready to play. Probably we'll put him in this game, I suppose. And um, we're going to need to take out a defenseman. So we'll take out Polich. Um, he's actually, where is he? We'll clear all and ask, um, no. Um, we'll ask Coach real quick. So, um, where is he? Polich, he's actually been decent for us. He has a goal, so that's nice, I guess. But um, we don't need him to play, so we're going to take him out right now. Well, in a second. Where is he? So Polich, he can come out. Zadaroff, you can take his place. And um, that looks good to me, I, I guess. Um, fine with that. They keep moving Ben back up to the first line, which might make some sense, but the thing is Voracek's been... Whoops. Voracek has been producing more, so... No, I, I'm clearing. Um, Voracek's been producing more, as I was saying, so I'd rather have him play this first line minutes. Although putting Ben on the first line might get him the score. Um, I don't know. So, Finland has one channel, some whatever. Um, player of the week. Tam mostly Tampa Bay players. Um, we'll see who we're going up against next, well, tomorrow, I think. We have a game. We'll see. So we're going to go be going up against Carolina. They're the team right behind us in the standings. Well, not right behind us. We have a pretty big um, point buffer. But um, we're going to be going up against them. Olofsson is back. We'll try to get him in next game. We'll just leave him out for this one. So we'll see what we can do here against Carolina. So they get the first one. Jeff Skinner from Falk and Murphy. And we're going to go into the... All right, so they get two, I guess. But Martinez gets one back. They get another. Lazarov gets one, though, from Ben and Ennis. That's good to see. Um, we're probably going to start Freddie Anderson next game. Give, we've given him quite a break. And then there you go, Jamie Ben getting a goal. So Jamie Ben ties it up. About eight minutes left, so that's good to see from Kane and Fowler. We're going to OT. All righty, so... Shootout time. Let's see if we can get a win here. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty, we'll watch it. So you get, they get the first one. I don't really know who that was. Um, Vorch uh, off the piss. So we're down one nothing here in the shootout. Jeff Skinner. I don't really know what he did. He screwed up though. We're gonna have Lazar off. Let's see what he can do. He gets one. So we're all tied up here in the shootout. Connor Murphy scores it. So we need Patty Kane to score to keep this going. And, er, never mind. Um, okay, I guess. So I think we definitely need a score here to keep it going. Or not. Maybe it's a best of five in this. Unlike in real life, I don't really know. The Bowie got a catch here. Let's see if he can get one. And, um, oh wait, we were, uh, we were tied, I was confused there, sorry about that. But Sakach wins it in the shootout, so we beat, um, the team right behind us in the standings, so that's good to see. So we're going to put in Olaf's in the next game, I believe, we'll put him in for, who do we want to put him in for? I think we'll put, we'll put, um, Olaf's in back in for, where is he? Coletta. Put him in for Coletta. So we'll continue along here. We'll edit our practice lines in a minute or two. So 
First in the league still. We did give Carolina a point there because it went to a shootout, but that's okay. Roster freeze today, so... Well, we're stuck with our roster, I guess. Um, <laughs> Tactics. We'll ask our coach here. We'll clear all, actually. We'll ask him again. And um, those look okay, I guess. I'll go with that for now. Set four. We got to do this again for like the fifth time. Hopefully Ben can keep on scoring down on that second line there. It's going up against Pittsburgh here. I, I think we will give Freddie Anderson the start. He hasn't been playing lately, so it's always good to get your backup in for a couple games. So we'll give him one. Hopefully he can come in and um, stop some pucks for us. So 0-0 zero, zero, midway through the first. So Pittsburgh's not doing that great this year. Not doing horrible either. They obviously have some great players, so should be a little bit of a challenge, you know. Kasperi Kapanen gets the first goal, and then Crosby gets another end of the second. So we're going to go all out offensive here. Anderson, it doesn't seem like he's been horrible. I have to check the um, shots, but it doesn't seem like he's been too bad. Might not be his fault, so we'll t check shots here. We're actually tied in shots. Anderson's been okay, I guess. We'll see what we can do here. Ennis gets one late in the game, but we're going to drop this one 2-1. to one. So. Forgot to see when I started recording, of course. So Sabres beaten. 10-game um, unbeaten streak. We finally lose. So that's it's a bit sad, but that's okay. It's obviously great to go on a 10-game win streak. Obviously. Obviously. Okay, all right. um, four messages here. Um, some of our prospects are doing okay, I guess. Nothing too great. It's all right. So we're going to be going up against Washington here. We're going to edit our practice real quick. Um, so we obviously, we have some players resting, I believe. Or not, I guess they're all back to normal. Excuse me. Um, so I think we're going to get Vandevelde working on defensive skill because he's more of a defensive center. Reinhardt, I need you to get shooting. I need you to score us some goals. Um, and Ben will work on shooting still. Okay, that's fine by me. We're going to go up against the Capitals here, so... Maybe we have a net. We're going to put Allmark back in. Last game, it wasn't really Anderson's fault. He didn't play great, though. Well, he played pretty good, I guess. Not horrible. Nick Backstrom gets an early one, assisted by Kovalchuk, and then Kovalchuk gets one. So Kovalchuk, he's obviously doing pretty good for him over there. Came back from the KHL, and he's scoring goals. Let's not drop two in a row here. So that second line is working pretty well. Lazaroff and Ben are absolutely killing it down there. So we went down three to nothing, but it's three to two now. So let's see what we can do. Ennis ties it up. That second line is working, and McDavid gets an unassisted goal. So one more point. McDavid's back to point per game. Hopefully he can get that. So Grabner gets another. Sakach gets one. And after going down three to nothing, we absolutely ripped through the Capitals. Jeez. So we'll take a look at the stats here. Ben had two goals. Lazarov had two goals. Ennis, Sakach, and Grabner all had one. I guess we could look at these. Um, I had missed points. Jamie Bat had a four-point game. Great to see that. So that second line is absolutely ripping it up. So we got some career more. Milestones here. I almost said milestones. I don't know why. Voracek played his 800th game, and Ennis got his 200th career goal. So, very nice to see that. So, da da da. I don't know when our next game is. We'll check that now. We're go actually going up against the Capitals again. It's a home and home series. It looks like with a one day break between. So we're going up against the Capitals today. So, player of the week, Johnny Huberto, and he won the offensive as well. So, we'll go up here against the Capitals. Hopefully, we won't go down three to nothing, but it seemed to work for us last time. 
Jacob Verona gets one early, I think that's his name, but Kane gets one, Ben gets one, Ennis gets one. The second line is absolutely killing. I know that was a power play goal, but still, second line's working very well. Patty Kane gets his second of the game from McDavid and Voracek. Voracek hasn't scored a goal in a little bit, but he's still been racking up points, so that's okay. Ben gets his second of the game. Short-handed, actually. And we're going to win that 5-2. to two. So, absolutely killing it. Patty Kane has gotten his 800, yeah, if I could talk, that'd be great, 800 NHL point. Great to see that. He's been killing it every single year. So, it's Christmas Day, so that means we'll have a couple days off here. I'll probably just skip through this. So I'll see you once we get to our next game because we have about a five or six day break. All right, so we're back after our little holiday break and we're going to be going up against Ottawa as I alluded to earlier. Sorry, I'm, I think I might be losing my voice a little bit. Um, <coughs> so 0-0 zero, zero so far. Lazarov gets one late in the period. So we're going to be up. And he gets his second, so two goals for Lazarov. Vorchek has another assist. Well, he has two this game. And um, we're rolling along here, so 3 to nothing lead going into the third. I think we'll be able to hold this. Kane gets one, Grabner gets one, Vorchek gets one. We're, we're killing it. Um, Grabner gets his second. Um, so that's good to see. A bunch of two-goal games for a lot of players. Grabner's been heating up down there on the third line. Reinhardt hasn't assisted, though. That's... One thing, I'm kind of, um, they're pretty mad after we beat them 7 to nothing. Well, I would be too. Um, so we got some scout, some scouts to deal with. Um, we also have some players to re-sign, as you can see, a lot of players that we're going to need to re-sign. Um, and these players mostly are Ben, Ennis, McDavid, and, um, Maybe Freddie Anderson, I don't know if we'll keep him next year. We have some goalie prospects coming up. Hannafin and um, Allmark. So I'll deal with that later on. We obviously also have some prospects to re-sign, so I'll be dealing with that on my own time. So maybe we'll be able to get him on a four-year deal, which would be an absolute steal. We're obviously going to have him to give him a little bit more, um, but I think it's well worth it for a player of his caliber. Um if we can actually get him with this deal. It's probably going to be unlikely, but you never know. It's possible. So We'll offer a couple of these players new deals. Um, Ennis wants the same exact deal he has now. He's getting a little bit older, though, so that'll take him until he's about 33 or 34 years old, which I think will, could make some sense. Jamie Benn will offer him, I guess, his new contract right now. It actually doesn't want to deal with that, so... I'll deal with the um, coach and scout and player contracts later on. So I'll do that off camera just because it'll take a little bit. So Patty Kane wins Offensive Player of the Week and Overall Player of the Week. Ristolainen actually won Defensive Player of the Week, so that's great to see. Don't see that very often. So continue along here. It's taken a while. Um, seven messages. Penguins head coach fired. They fired Randy Cunningworth. He actually would be a pretty good scout or um, he wants to be a head coach. I wonder if he would he would actually be a scout for us if we wanted him to. He can judge, He's pretty good at judging player ability and potential. But maybe we would rather have him as like an assistant coach. I maybe we could get him as a scout. Um, we're not going to though, just because we have, we actually I upgraded our scouting staff over the off season, so our scouts are actually much better than last season. So we'll do one or two more games and end the episode off here. Going into the new year, twenty seventeen. So Lazarov has won. NHL Rookie of the Month, I think, for the um, second or third time this this season. So I think every time, maybe, except for one. Um, so that's good. So we're going up against Detroit here. We'll see what we can get done. 
So DeHaan gets the first goal assisted by Connor McDavid. Lazarov gets another. Lazarov's been heating up lately. So 2 nothing going into the second. McDavid gets one. Good to see that. We need Reinhardt to start scoring, though. I haven't seen him do anything in, like, well, forever. I would move him up to that second line, but as you can see, it's working so well. And the first line's been doing very well as well, so I don't want to, I don't really want to mess with that. Like, if you look here um, at our tactics, Reinhardt's on the third line. He has actually two pretty good wingers that can score. Thing is, he hasn't scored much. Um, I know he's playing third line minutes. He would be playing second line with Ennis at the wing instead of at center, except we've found um, Lazarov's been very good. So I already scouted all those guys, so we don't have to deal with that. We'll be going up against the Philadelphia Flyers, so we'll see what we can get done against Philly here. Grabner gets the first one, Sakach gets another, so Sakach has scored one after long break. Ennis gets another. It's the only reason I haven't moved um, Reinhardt up, just because Ennis, uh, Ennis has been playing well. Zykov gets one back for them. They tie it up early in the third. Drew puts him ahead. Drew has two goals, I guess, for him. We're going to drop one here. All right. So our penalty kill let us down there. They scored a ton of power play goals, so... Capitals also fire their head coach. My phone's going off. Um, so I think we're what we're gonna do. We're gonna work on the power play in practice. I'll do that off camera and um, maybe move some lines around. I do want to get Reinhardt on the first line, but then again, it might might mess with our team. And um, our second line has been killing it, as I said. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'm thinking about moving Lazarov down, but then again, he's been so good. I don't want to. So, uh, I don't know. Well, thanks for watching anyway. Have a great day, and um, I'll see you next episode.